Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about organizing data in tabular form and presenting them in a line graph. In our daily lives, we deal with so much information that we need to be organized to see the possible outcome of events. When we do this, we deal with a specific branch of mathematics, which is statistics. What is statistics? Statistics is the collection, organization, presentation, interpretation, and analysis of data. There are two important elements in statistics. These are the data and variables. What is a data? Data is a set of values used in statistics. How about the variables? Variables are characteristics or properties of people, objects, places, or things in statistics that are being represented by data. Collection of data may be done in a lot of ways, such as survey, interview, or through observations. After the data has been collected, it is important that we organize the data so that presentation, Interpretation and analysis will be easy. How to organize data? Organization of data is commonly done through a tabular form or a table. In the tabular form, you get a systematic arrangement of rows and columns. Level properly, the rows and columns. Also include the title that briefly describes the data in the table. To understand fully our lesson for today, let's study this example. The people government of San Miguel Elementary School has earned enough proceeds to put up a new sports center in their school. This is the reason why they did a survey on the favorite sport of their fellow students. Below are the results of the survey. Make a tally and organize the answers in tabular form. The respondents used the following code. A for volleyball, B for basketball, C for chess, D for swimming, and E for badminton. Presenting the survey data and the tally. These are the results for the survey. For volleyball, we have 14, basketball 12, chess 8, swimming 9, and badminton 7. 
We have 50 respondents in this survey. After we tally the survey result, then we will make a table to organize the data. In our example, for the first column, it represents the kind of sport and for the second column, it is the frequency. The frequency is from the result of the tally. So we have for volleyball, the frequency is 14. For basketball, it is 12. For chess, it is 8. For swimming, the frequency is 9. And for badminton, it is 7. Then, don't forget to put a title to the table presented. In this example, the title is San Miguel Elementary School Pupils' Favorite Sport. So, based on the table, what is the most favorite sport of the pupils in San Miguel Elementary School? Yes, you are right. It is valuable. Data gathered and organized can be presented using graphs. One of these is the line graph. The line graph has a vertical line called the y-axis, which contains the first variable in the collected data. As we go up through the y-axis, increasing values must be presented. It may represent almost any type of numerical data, such as pesos, scores, number of people, temperature, grades, and etc. Just like in the table presented a while ago, the y-axis is the frequency. On the other hand, the horizontal line called the x-axis in the line graphs contains the second variable that refers to the first variable in the collected data. As we go to the right in the x-axis, time periods or names of things being compared are enumerated. In our table presented, the x-axis is the sport. Here are the steps in constructing a line graph. Number one, draw the lines for the x-axis and the y-axis. Number two, Use the data from the table to level the axis. Number three, plot the points that correspond to each variable in the table. Number four, connect the points with a line segment. Number five, put a title on the graph. I'm going to teach you how to make a graph using Microsoft PowerPoint. Just go to insert, then just click chart. Then here we have different kinds of chart or graphs. So we're going to click line because we're going to make a line graph. Then click OK. For our category, we will base on our table. So in our example, category is the kind of sport. So we have volleyball. Basketball, chess, swimming, and badminton. Okay, next is we're going to enter the frequency. For volleyball, it is 14. Basketball is 12. Chess is 8. Swimming is 9. Badminton is 7. Then... Just click here, chart filters. We're going to uncheck series 2 and series 3. Then click apply. We can click this one, chart styles. So we can choose what graph style we wanted to. You can use like this, this one, this one. So it's up to us what style we wanted to use okay for example we're going to use this chart then we can add axis title also so for our y-axis this is the frequency 
And for the x-axis, this is the sport. Based on our table, we can change also the font and the font size. So, it's up to you what font you are going to use and the font size. You can make it bigger. And also, these numbers, we can change the font size and the font. Don't forget to put a title to our graph. This is San Miguel. Elementary school pupils favorite sport This is the way how we're going to make a line graph. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.